Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sony Computer Entertainment Europe press conference at Gamescom 2009. Good evening and welcome to Gamescom. Uh, I'm Andrew House, President and CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment Europe. Uh, it's truly an honor to be here this evening uh, talking with you all. I've been part of the PlayStation family for over 15 years. Uh, and in that time, we've seen many incredible things. From the birth of the original PlayStation to the dawn of a truly online world for interactive entertainment. We pride ourselves on being a company that is always changing and always innovating. Tonight, I hope that we'll demonstrate that PlayStation has a very bright future and that we're poised for even greater success globally, including Europe and throughout the PAL territories. Shaping the industry and responding to the needs of gamers has always been paramount for PlayStation. Back in 1994, the original PlayStation launched as the first CD-based games console, revolutionizing the way games were created. When we launched PlayStation 2 in 2000, we brought gaming to the mass market, first by introducing a high-quality, reasonably priced DVD player into the mix, and then by creating social games through innovative brands such as iToy, SingStar, and Buzz. These were games that made PlayStation accessible to a completely different audience. We began to see gaming coming out of the bedroom and into the living room as a viable entertainment option for the whole family. More recently, with both PSP and PlayStation 3, we've moved the technology forward significantly and pushed the boundaries of what is possible. We're very proud of what we've achieved, but our drive is always to support creativity within the industry and to influence the next generation of games. It's this principle that I'd like to talk with you about tonight. Tonight, I intend to take you through our business strategy, provide a glimpse into our future, and make it very clear just how much PlayStation is shaping the gaming industry and the entertainment experience of today's consumers. But before we talk about where we're going and what the future of PlayStation has in store, 
let me remind you about the solid foundations of our current business. Let's look at PlayStation's business performance, both globally and more specifically for the SCE region. So if we start by looking at PS2, uh, or as I like to call it, the Michael Schumacher of games consoles. No matter how old it gets, it still goes strong, and the rest of the field seem to watch on with admiration and envy. Now, well into its 10th year, you can see that it's still selling incredibly well, with worldwide sales now reaching almost 139 million units, whilst throughout Ski, it sold nearly 52 million units. It's a truly incredible achievement and a great example of how top quality hardware and a broad catalog of software results in fantastic longevity. Moving on to PSP, we've already announced that we will be launching PSP Go in October and have the strongest software lineup yet throughout the year. Yet regardless of what's to come, sales of PSP have continued to grow at a very healthy rate with global sales now reaching 52.9 million units, whilst throughout Ski, we have sold 17 million PSPs. Between this solid foundation and our aggressive plans for 2009 and beyond, we're confident that PSP will continue to go from strength to strength. Now let's turn to PS3. Our global sales have now reached 23.7 million units, and I'm delighted to announce today that our ski install base has now broken through the 10 million unit barrier. To achieve this milestone in just over two years in our market is a remarkable achievement and something, again, that we're very proud of. But our sales figures for PS3 are only half the story. The industry has changed, and we now find ourselves in a networked world where entertainment is transformed by the unlimited online opportunities available. It's through PlayStation Network that PS3 really comes into its own. The infinite possibilities of PlayStation Network open up PlayStation fans to a genuinely unique experience. Content, features, players, and communication suddenly come together offering a limitless choice that should not just excite hardcore fans, but will allow everyone to mold their entertainment experience to reflect their own personal tastes. It's this principle of a service that delivers a unique offering for everyone that has resulted in the number of PSN registrants worldwide now reaching over 27 million, while throughout Ski, there are over 11 million alone. If you break that down, what you have is a connection rate of our consumers of approximately 60%. But it's not just about registering to the PlayStation Network. It's about being part of the community. That's why it's so important to us that the number of global downloads has now surpassed 560 million. That's well in excess of half a billion pieces of content worldwide. For us, it's not about charging people purely to access the online world. And it's not about charging for every item available for download. We want people to find PlayStation Network accessible and most importantly, compelling. I believe that the number of downloads shows that we're giving consumers a reason to come back and to re-engage with the PlayStation community online on a regular basis. And that constant re-engagement yields revenue. I'm pleased to share with you that we have generated over $280 million worth of revenue, proving that our network consumers are driving new business opportunities in addition to our package media business. Another great differentiator for the PlayStation Network business is, of course, PlayStation Home. When we opened up the home beta to the public last December, we had very ambitious plans. For the first time ever, we wanted to offer gamers a place to go, a place to meet, and above all, a place to share ideas with like-minded people. PlayStation fans are using home in the same way that they use other social media. We wanted to create a totally new style of gaming community, transforming and shaping the way people interact, not only with PS3, but also with each other. We were very aware that such ambitious plans would take a considerable amount of time to accomplish. And over the last eight months, the service has been significantly enhanced, and the user experience is far superior to what it was back in December.